Hi guys, I'm Umar, top boxer Sadiq, professional super middleweight living in London. I was born in Nigeria and in 2016 I was in the Olympic team. In 2017 I turned professional promoted by Hall of Fame promoter Frank Warren, one of the biggest names in world boxing. I model and I've started alongside David Beckham. I vlog to give you all an insight into the life of a boxer. I also entertain in and out of the ring to spread love and lots of good energy. So this is me guys, I promise to give you guys all unfiltered access to the life of a top boxer. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. And um, today, 5.30. <laughs> this vlog is special because it's now one year since I've been sharing insights into my life. Some of the names that we've had on our vlog have been... <laughs> can I even keep up? I mean, we're talking huge. We're talking mega stars. We're talking the face of world boxing. <laughs> Um, we've had uh, the likes of Paulie Mananaji, Lance Foley, Howard Davis, Frank Warren, the Anthony Yard, Anthony Joshua. And we've got Marie Fazeldine, Dan Aziz, DJ Melody Kane, and Jamie Jewett. I get around, I get a lot of people with blue ticks next to the name on the vlog, so <laughs> keep tuning in. <laughs> I want to do collaborations where um, I'm working with people within boxing. I think it's about time we started doing that. But, you know, doing some sort of like fitness challenges, food challenges, exploring something new, something different, maybe bringing uh, some form of a documentary format to what I'm doing because documentaries are something that, that I have a great interest in and I would actually love to start presenting documentaries. So um, there's that to look forward to. And in terms of who with, I guess anyone who really radiates good energy, great vibes, has some quality value to offer. You know, there's some YouTubers out there that I see doing some great stuff, I like what they're doing. There are, like I said, the box and really even someone who isn't a YouTuber or isn't or doesn't have a massive social media presence it's more about the like I said the energy they bring and the value that they bring to what the content's going to be in the next 12 months for sure for sure the content's going to be switched up not only because of collaborations and the ideas that I have but in regards to like I said documentaries challenges and insights into different things but also my career is going to continue to rise and it's going to rise I think I, should, I believe strongly that the next year in boxing is going to be a very good year for me. So I'm going to secure, you know, some versions of titles. I'm going to get myself higher up in the rankings. Be boxing higher up in the slots and shows that I'm boxing on. And I think inevitably, with all of those, are going to come a lot of exciting things that I probably can't even imagine right now. I do not consider myself the first vlogger in boxing in terms of having a boxing boxing vlog, but I do consider myself being the first vlogger who is a boxer and vlogs about boxing. It's because I first started vlogging in 2013, um, doing travel uh, insights into when I was going away to do charity work, that sort of stuff. And um, um, when I turned professional as a boxer, I had my baby in 17, 2017. Um, before that, I actually um, wanted to start a boxing vlog, but I just didn't have the resources, the time, or the setup to do it. So something that was always in my mind, and then obviously early 18, I started the vlog, and ever since, I've seen lots of other boxers jump on which I think is a great thing rather than thinking oh man like they're copying me I'm actually like no, no, no that's sick that's good it's good for boxing but the reason why I said I'm not I don't well I'm not the first person to vlog about boxing is because when I was when I was thinking of doing it for boxing and I start when I was turning pro I looked on YouTube to see if anybody else was doing it and I found one guy forgot his name but he was vlogging and um, He's probably going to watch this, I don't know. But I didn't feel like he was doing a great job. It was all stuff like, it was just dead, it was boring. But yeah, I saw that person, so they were there first doing it as a boxer, but the idea was always there for me from before. I don't consider other boxers who vlog this competition. Like I said, I consider them as co-pioneers. Co-pioneers in diversifying the way that boxers promote themselves, taking advantage of the social media world that we're in today and this digital age that we're in. And it's just the involvement of boxing and the fact that so many people are doing it now. And, you know, I've seen Anthony Joshua's even doing it now, so we've got the heavyweight world champion of the world doing it. I think more and more people are going to pick it up. And like I said, ultimately, the more boxers diversify the way they promote themselves and engage with the following, the better things would be for boxing as a whole because boxing is Suffered, suffered over time from a stigma of, of being a scrubby sport where someone does it because it's all I have. Actually, no, what we're showing you guys in these vlogs is 
No, we live like pretty good lives, we're decent people, some of us are very well spoken, others um, have great charisma and personalities and there's a lot of good stuff to watch about boxers and actually there are a lot of boxers doing good things in the world to contribute back to this setup that's allowing us to thrive in what we love to do. Thanks to all the guys that have been around from the start, thanks to all the guys who have joined, I hope you've been loving it and here's to continually giving you great content. Today we are at Bitstocks HQ, which is a big massive office share building in central London. And I just realised that the Lumix logo looks like a pound sign if you just put a line across it, <laughs> across the middle. Uh, but yeah, so here to film a podcast with uh, Michael Hudson, who's the CEO of Bitstocks. The aim of the podcast is just to have a chat. I might ask Michael a few questions depending on how I feel. So I'm prepared for him to ask me a few questions. And yeah, it's basically just to film a podcast, another episode of podcast for um, Bitstocks. And obviously, you guys are learning about the podcast through here. So go ahead and watch that. Right, hello and welcome to another episode of the Bitstocks podcast. And today we have none other than Top Boxers Sadiq. What you can expect from the podcast is everything different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're gonna have a just we're just gonna have a chat. If there's anything like the conversations Mike and I have usually, it was it, it could potentially go over a lot of people's heads. But you may just look at us and think, what weird those are these. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, it's just gonna be very informative, ideally inspiring and motivational because those are two things that Bit Stocks and myself are very big on. At the very least, the podcast is gonna be engaging. So that's it. Tune in and watch what we do. Umar is the first, and up until right now, the only individual that Bitstocks is sponsoring. Sponsorship is a integral part of the ecosystem of any sport, and because of that, in all sports, you have people who are sponsors, so to speak. Uh, but in regards to Bitstocks and myself, I call it more of a partnership because it's a meaningful partnership. It's not one that's made up of your typical Bitstocks wants a bit of promo, I want a bit of money, here you go, and that's that. It's more of a relationship when a partnership has come organically through realizing that we share a very similar ethos in things like striving to fulfill your complete potential and helping as many people as possible in the process whether it's through monetary contributions or if it's through you know motivation inspiration helping people with tools that will help them empower themselves and understanding that the path to attaining your desires is hardly ever smooth so when things are rocky you fell forward and you just keep striving forward and you know understanding your value your worth and knowing your purpose and understanding that what's yours is already yours and you're just manifesting it so i think i got a bit deep there but you get the idea and yeah so basically yeah our partnership is based around meaningful concepts and it's one that i enjoy sharing oh blitz in it good thing i brought my coat i wasn't done it yeah so the podcast was about two hours or more wasn't really checking the time but i believe it was over two hours wasn't planned to be that long but when you're having a good time right and there's so many gems in that so many gems for personal for business, for sports, for um, spiritual awareness, the whole lot. We covered so many things, it was quite random, but again, so many gems, so go check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And for now, I just gotta go training because I'm a bit late. So, see you soon, and thank you for watching. Click the like button, leave a comment. I always try to reply. You can also follow my social media platforms with the links down below for Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Remember to share, subscribe so that you never miss another episode of the Top Box of Love. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bad rails in your mouth. Come on. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. Bring em out, bring em out. Yeah. VIP coming live from the VIP. Heard the nightlife, I was like,